हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे विल क्लियर द कंसेप्ट ऑफ जू जियोग्राफी एंड स्पेशली द इथोपियन रिलम जू जियोग्राफी इज द स्टडी ऑफ जियोग्राफिकल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ एनिमल्स द आइडिया ऑफ जू जियोग्राफी वॉज गिवन बाय सीएटर ही डिवाइडेड द कॉन्टिनेंट्स इन टू सिक्स जियोग्राफिकल रीजन्स ही स्टडीड द जियोग्राफिकल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ बर्ड्स Darlington divided the continents of the whole world into six geographical regions: Nearctic region, Palearctic region, Neotropical region, Ethiopian region, Oriental region, and Australian region. This is the map showing the distribution of all these six realms. On the extreme left there is Nearctic consisting of Greenland, Canada, USA, Mexico and on the extreme left towards the downside it is neotropical region consisting of north america on the extreme right we have got on the top palearctic region below it we have the ethiopian re region then is the oriental realm and in the last is the australian realm so these are the six realms the objectives and significance of zoo geography the principal tool of zoo geography is cartography all the known habitat of a species are plotted on the map to obtain the primary objective of the zoo geography changes in the condition of existence for example general changes in climate development of favorable condition in adjacent regions and disappearance of the barrier often causes the species to settle in a new place to broaden or change its range or to move to a new place the second objective of zoo geography is to gain a general idea of country's fauna and the third objective is to outline the ecological grouping into which the species of particular fauna fall as well as the legal regularities of its distribution species found only in a particular region are known as endemic species this is the map showing the various countries in this realm that is morocco algeria libya egypt south arabia sudan chad then mali then south of sudan ethiopia somalia congo angola zambia tanzania then we have namibia south africa madagascar so these are various countries which are present in the ethiopian realm ethiopian realm it includes africa sahara desert southern part of arabia madagascar island so we can say that it is divided into four sub regions east african sub regions this is east where the desert is present west african sub region thick forest they are there rain forest is there then south african sub region savanna is there part of scrub forest is there then melagase sub region here also we have rain forest and savanna region is there so ethiopian realm is divided into these four parts in the first that is east african sub region it includes tropical africa tropical arabia because of its high temperature desert conditions they are available sahara desert it includes in the region and in this region giraffe zebra camel ostrich they are very common west african sub region this region shows thick forest river congo is included in this region this region shows heavy rainfall and here gorilla gibbon great apes elephants panthers lions they are present in south african sub region it shows particular fauna like african moles rat bandicoots lung fishes and melagase sub region it includes madagascar and nearby island and here the chameleons they are more popular some of the important fauna which is present in this ethiopian realm 
first is protopterus that is a west african lungfish lungfish lives in the swamp backwaters and is carnivorous eating on frog and small fishes when the shallow water evaporates during the dry spell lungfish secretes a thick mucus layer around itself and dries into the cocoon it can live out of water in this cocoon up to a year but usually only until rain returns while out of water its lungs enable it to breathe air it may hibernate by chewing into the soil and debris at the bottom of waterways ejecting mud from the gills as it burrows down it digs 1 to 9 inches below the surface in water it can swim up to for 4 years eggs they are laid in the nest in weedy areas larva have external gills that are reabsorbed during the metamorphosis male guards the newly hatched young ones up to 2 months so it is lung fish african lung fish protopterus second is african penguins very small endangered individual they are only 26 inches tall weight of 5 to 9 pounds black in color along with their head and their back side one on the belly a feature black spot they are present black line which are different from that of the other animals it lives in 24 islands around the southern coast of the continent it is one of the calmest type of penguin it makes sounds that are very similar to those of donkey in order to interact and communicate with the member of the colony its diet includes fish squid sardine African penguin has not set breeding season female lays about 2 eggs with a hatching of time of 40 days it can live for 10 years in the wild in africa eggs of these penguins are very common source of food due to many living in poverty in this area there are large number of efforts done by the government to protect this species third individual is panthera leo leo is present lion is present only at two places one is african lion second is asiatic lion so mature male lion are unique among big cats due to thick brown black maning which encircle their neck and protect them while fighting Lions consume wide variety of prey like zebra, giraffe, buffalo, wild hogs. The lion population in Africa is reduced by half. Very less number of individuals are present, so it is vulnerable. The lion used to live in most part of Africa. Now it is only present in the South Saharan desert and part of Eastern Africa. both male and female lions roar and their roar can be heard over few 5 miles away only social member of the cat family it lives in groups known as prides consisting of about 15 lions aunt culture is there the female can feed the young one of the other females also males are territorial and will roll will roar and use scent markings to establish their domain female do almost all the hunting nocturnal work in team lion inhabits grassy plains savanna open woodlands they are the second largest living feline species second only to the tiger next individual is gorilla it is also endangered it lives in the central africa largest of all great apes adult male is 1.7 meters in height it walks by using all four limbs supported by the knuckles 
Gorilla skin and hair are black and lack hair on the face, hand and feet. Silver back gorilla is a mature male adult with a patch of silver hair on their back. Gorillas, they are vegetarian, eat fruits, leaves and shoots. Important seed dispersals in the rainforest and they play ecological role in their forest ecosystem. Gorilla live in a family of 6 to 30 individuals. The gorilla build their own new nest every night using branches and foliage. They can use tools and problem solving. Famous chest beating ritual is used for intimidating outsider communication between the groups and maintaining their hierarchy within the groups. Next is zebra that is Ecus zebra. It is vulnerable just like human fingerprints. They have striped patterns and it is unique to each and every individual, highly social, can sleep only when the neighbors they are close to them if any family group member is wounded they come closure for defense encircling the injured one and attempting to drive the predators away mother zebras are very caring protecting mothers all zebras are close to their mothers but males are having strong bonds with their fathers Zebras communicate with each other through various sound expressions including sniffing and balking. Massive herds consisting of tens of thousands of zebra perform one of the world's most awe-inspiring migration across Serengeti plains. Next individual is elephant, African elephant. Status is vulnerable. There are two types of elephants as you know. Asian elephant, African elephants. African elephants, they are having larger tusks, larger ears, sizes bigger than the Asian elephants. Female elephant starts to have calves when they are 12 years old. Elephants have large ears. The ears, they are made up of complex network of blood vessels which help them to regulate their temperature. Blood is circulated through the ears to cool them down in hot climates they have got very strong memories they know how to where to move and where to get water during the dry season they don't have any natural predator but sometimes lion they prey on them but humans they are the main important individual for their extinction through poaching and changes in their habitat. Elephant trunk is able to sense the size, shape and temperature of the object having large number of muscles. Females spend their entire lives living in large groups known as herd. Male elephant leave their herd at about 13 years of age and then live solitary lives. They are herbivores. They spend 16 hours a day collecting leaves, twigs, bamboos and important. Now very important, first is ostrich. Now ostrich is restricted only to this. So there is a fragmentation in the ostrich territory. Then chimpanzee, only in the rainforest it is present. Then lion, highly fragmented territory of lion is seen which once rule whole of the Africa. Then is gorilla again in the rainforest only. Then is elephant again very very fragmented territory is seen. Then protopterus this is the lung fish of Africa which is present here. Then is the flamingos from the coastal regions here as well as in this part it is present. This is penguin only on the lower most portion of the. So in this map we have shown all the individuals together. So you can learn the territory of all these individuals. So two things they are very important. One is the location, position, distribution of the individual. Second is the climate of the prelim.